Hey, good day everyone, Skavig here, and I'm on the test realm for Atlas having a look at some of the changes that they've been making, specifically the ship and the bottle system. But before I get stuck into the explanation of what's on here, uh, they've put up the announcement that the wipe is being scheduled for about two weeks from now on the 21st of September. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how that one comes about and all the changes that come with it, because I've been away for quite some time from Atlas taking a break from the game. Uh, but I'm back having a look at some of the things, and I'll probably spend a lot of my time on the PTR just having a look at the changes as they're implemented um, not so much on the live side of things they did put a little sneak peek of a picture which shows a castle with a circular tower uh, some cannons with a uh, crenellations that actually fit the cannons and so I'm wondering if there's going to be some defensive structures that'll come with the patch uh, specifically for that I haven't exactly investigated what's going on other than that they've got some new Freeport islands and things like that uh, one of which I'm standing on right now but we'll get stuck into the uh, ship in the bottle system. And there was one other thing. Ah, yes, that's right. Uh, the Q&A. So they put up a Q&A recently and some bunch of questions were put up. And they're going to do a live session where the developers will answer the questions. And people who are in the Discord at the time while their questions are being answered will have the opportunity to ask additional questions to clarify the answers that have been given. And that's going to be on the 15th of September at 12 p.m. PDT which unfortunately for me is about 5 o'clock in the morning. But I'll see if I can still turn up for it. Uh, otherwise, they'll be releasing those answers uh, in a written version afterwards. So I'll always be able to pick that up and uh, make a video on that rather than trying to record the uh, Discord chat. Anyway, I'm going to head off to where my base is and we can have a look at the ship in the bottle system. All right, we're over at my little base. Uh, I've got a couple of shipyards here which already have the uh, ship bottle stations built. To make the uh, ship bottle stuff, you'll need to go down to the seamanship part of the tree. Inside the seamanship, you're then going to head down to the master shipwright. And down the bottom there, you can see that it says ship bottle and ship bottle station. You'll make both of those in the smithy at this point in time, at least on the PTO. And it costs, at the moment, solidified essence. But they've said that they want to change that because the solidified essence actually comes from the moor. And they want it so that everybody has access to it and not just those people who are actually doing the moor. Uh, so I've gone ahead and placed myself a ship bottle station and I've made a few of the bottles. Uh, you can only put the ship bottle station on the shipyard itself. You can kind of free place it wherever you want to put it on there. So I've kind of tucked it off to the side a little bit so I still have a bit of movement around. But inside this little station here, I've got my solidified essence, which is the current resource and the ship bottles themselves. I believe the icons for a lot of these things are going to change. And I've built myself a little sloop. And so from here, you can right click on the bottle. And the bottle will then have the options to bottle the ship inside, to recover the ship, and to duplicate the ship. So to begin with, we're going to bottle the ship. And so we now have our original ship. If I right-click on that, I can either duplicate or I could recover the ship. If you recover it, it will put it back onto the shipyard in a uh, just-built state. But for now, we will duplicate a ship. And so we now have another bottle, which actually has an exact copy of the Iron Beard sloop inside the new bottle. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the costs are that they actually come up with uh, for this in the future, because we wouldn't want to see that this is exactly um, ridiculously cheap. You'd hope that it's actually somewhat similar of a cost uh, as the base ship that you're actually trying to store, but we'll have to wait and see. But we'll go ahead and just duplicate a bunch of these. Now, the thing about this duplicating is they want to put a limit to the number of duplicates. Uh, they also want to put some timing on it so that it doesn't just instantly do it like I am here at the moment. Uh, let's just recover one of these ships as well. You see that it's actually just shoved it in a complete state. Uh, it should be an exact carbon copy of the ship that I had before. And we can then release the ship and go off and use it. It will ask to do the name again, but uh, that doesn't actually work. This will still be named the Iron Beard. So yeah. For some reason, the uh, renaming isn't exactly working right now. I have had some bugs where trying to put a duplicate back into a bottle didn't work for me, but uh, today it did. I'm not sure what the difference between the last time I did it and this time. Maybe there was an update that I haven't even noticed. But at the very least, I could right click on there and bottle that ship in. If I bottle it back in, we can actually see that it put a duplicate back in there. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty much the uh, the basics of the system. So you have to have the ship in the shipyard to be able to bottle it, and you have to unbottle it into a shipyard as well. So you are stuck with basically having to do it within the shipyards, which is a good thing in my mind, because uh, if you were able to just throw it out like a cryopod from Ark uh, anywhere you want to, it might cause um, some imbalances that uh, would not be the best. It would be a nice feature, but uh, yeah, I think the imbalance of it is already going to be 
bit crazy. But that being said, I've had some chats with some people about the, the various nature of the, uh, the ship in the bottle system. And um, some of the bigger companies, I mean, they're getting upwards of 40 ships. They've got multiple naval fleets that are sitting across different grids so that they can deal with the caps that are going on. And yeah, for them, if you put a time limit on the, the bottle, um, what's the point of actually using the bottle? So they'll just keep the ships out uh, in the grids. So there's not really saving them anything there. And even then, when you pull this ship out, I mean, it duplicates the ship, but the ship doesn't come stocked. So if you've got your navy sitting in a grid waiting to go and it's got crew, it's got some resources and all the rest of that sort of stuff, uh, putting a ship into a bottle which you then have to pull out on some kind of a timer, uh, crew it and all the rest of that sort of stuff, it's sort of, um, I'm wondering how much uptake there will be for the bigger companies who already have the ability to take over several grids and they can just have their ships out anyway, so I'm not sure exactly what it's going to save. But this is early day, oh, I'd love to say it's early days yet. It'll be interesting to see whether this comes in the next patch, uh, seeing as the wipe is in two weeks. So they've got a little bit of time to refine it, and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, but otherwise, I mean, if, if uh, you guys actually can see the pros and the cons of it, the main thing that I, I guess the, uh, the main thing I see for this is the ability to duplicate a ship that you like. So if you have a build that you're particularly happy with, or maybe there's a build that you want your crew members to work with so that they don't do crazy overbuilds and things like that, you can duplicate your ship for a certain cost. And then that build will always be the build that comes out. And so there are some benefits in that, in that you can always store your, your best build and then duplicate it and bring them out as you see fit. But there's also a lot of uh, questions around yeah, costs, times, uh, and whether or not it's actually saving the companies something rather than just having another ship built and put out into the world. It saves you time on building a ship, but doesn't save you any time on crewing it and stocking it. So we'll see where the utility really lies, but at the very least you can actually see how the system is currently looking on the PTR. Uh, and keep that in mind, definitely. This is on the PTR, this is all subject to change, and we're just looking at roughly what they're building. Anyway, happy sailing. Enjoy the wipe in two weeks, and hopefully I'll be sitting in the chat on the 15th of September when they do the Q&A. Thanks for listening in. It's been Scarvig once again. Catch you in the next one.